Hello. I was talking to an entrepreneur the other day and he said, um, you know, I have a company that is a for-profit business. It's not a nonprofit, but it may not be able to make super high returns for my investors. So I just don't know why any investor would be interested. You know, for example, there's all these family offices that manage money for wealthy families. And a lot of people talk about raising money from family offices, but why would a family office be interested in my business when I don't know if I can offer the the rate of return that these money managers are looking for. So he was t under the assumption that everyone who manages money for wealthy people, whether it's a family office or an investment advisor um, or wealth advisor, that um, they're always looking for the highest possible returns and that they're mandated to get the highest possible returns. So he was like, yeah, you know, these people who manage wealthy people's money, they have to maximize returns, right? So why would they ever invest in my business? And I said, you know, that's actually not true <laughs> because um, there are many, many family offices which are, you know, uh, basically, uh, organizations that manage wealth for high net worth individuals and families that have a mandate to do more than just maximize returns for their um, the people that they're managing money for. There's many, many wealthy individuals and families um, who want their money to do things out in the world besides just maximizing financial returns. Um, so there are family offices that have a mandate to have a diversified portfolio. Maybe some of the portfolio is more kind of mainstream investments in the public markets that are designed to maximize returns. But then there's another part of the portfolio with a different asset class that's maybe more um, risk oriented and willing to um, accept lower returns. They also often have um, uh, charitable money that they will sometimes invest in for-profit businesses. So um, I realized that there is sort of this misconception out there that um, investors, especially those who manage money for wealthy people, um, are not going to be interested in investing in your business if you don't have the ability to claim that you're going to be able to make really high returns with a low risk. Um, I've actually seen many, many um, uh, family offices and wealth managers who are mandated by the people whose money they're managing to look for different kinds of investments. So don't make that assumption. Now, how do you find these people? Honestly, it isn't always easy. Um, family offices don't tend to advertise themselves um, to people who are looking for investors. Um, a lot of it is going to be word of mouth, um, just getting the word out about what it is you're doing. You'll be surprised the more you go out and talk to people about what it is you're doing and why it's making a difference in the world and why you're passionate about it, the more you're going to hear about all kinds of niche investors. They're going to be like, oh my God, I know so-and-so who's really passionate about exactly what you're doing. Or I know so-and-so who just raised a million dollars from investors that um, I think would also be really interested in what you're doing. So um, unfortunately, there's no kind of list out there um, that's going to tell you, here are the money managers and the wealth advisors and the um, you know family offices that are going to want to hear from you as a potential investee. A lot of it is just about talking to as many people as possible, being really open-minded. You never know who you're talking to. Um, the financial industry is is a little bit opaque. It's I still have trouble sometimes understanding like all the different players in the financial industry. You know, sometimes there will be a family office, but you won't know it's a family office and you won't know Oh, the, like, oh, it turns out, like, I, you'll find out later, oh, 
this family office has this name, XYZ Corporation, but what it really is, is it's the family office for this very wealthy family. So it's, you know, it's not always easy to figure these things out. That's why it's just so, so important to be really persistent and just keep talking to people who are share the passion that you have that's driving you to grow your business and, you know, build your business the way you are and, you know, a tackle the issues that you're tackling with your business because you will start to hear and you know what I always call it following breadcrumbs like you'll hear about someone someone will be like oh you should talk to so and so and then you'll talk to them and they'll be like oh you should talk to so and so and before you know it you're going to start to get the lay of the land of who might be in the space and it never ends you know I've been raising money for a long time and Every time I talk to someone, I feel like I get new leads, um, new breadcrumbs to follow. So um, just know that there's many, many different kinds of investors out there, family offices, um, investment advisors who aren't actually investing, but they're helping their clients invest, um, individuals, high net worth individuals, people who manage donor advised funds, um, even regular folks who aren't wealthy but are still looking for something interesting to invest in. So don't make assumptions about what people are looking for. If what you're doing is addressing a problem in the world and making the world a better place, there are people out there who will be excited to learn more and possibly invest. All right, talk to you later. Bye.